On today's show, I'm gonna show you how this cozy little bag works and how you can win one to take home for yourself. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here on YouTube at youtube.com slash photojoseph, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, every Monday and Wednesday and Friday. And we talk about all kinds of fun things, photo related, cameras, video, live streaming, bags as we're doing today. If it's got a camera attached to it, related to it, goes into a camera, camera goes into it. It's fair game for the show. So uh, today we're talking about this fun little bag here from a company called Cozy Speed. This one is called the Streetomatic. Love the kind of 70s throwback name. It is the Streetomatic bag. They make a variety of these. This is the Streetomatic Plus, which is ever so slightly on the larger side. And this is a bag that is designed for mirrorless cameras. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the bag, show you how it works. And the really cool thing is I have two of these. One for me, that's mine. Sean tried to steal it already. You can't have it. And one for you. Somebody out there gets to win this bag. And the way you win this bag is, first you got to watch the show that's up here. It was about black and white photography with color filters. To enter the contest, you have to actually use color filters, take a photo in black and white with the color filter and without the color filter and make a little side-by-side -side diptych and stick them up on the Facebook page where people can upvote and downvote them. So, well, not downvote because it's Facebook, but upvote them. And whoever gets the most likes wins. It's a popularity contest. You know, that's how it works. So, um, that is going on right now. We are waiting for our first submissions. You will, again, have to watch that video to little, learn a little bit more about it, but that is the idea. Submit a picture win a bag. And hey, if like two people submit, then it's gonna be really easy to win. Uh, so that's that. So let me show you about the bag. So first, a little bit of history here. Again, it's called the, Co well, the company's called Cozy Bag, because um, it's, it's nice and cozy. And uh, this one in particular is called the Streetomatic. And the founder, the inventor of the bag, the creator of the bag, said that he made this bag because he wanted a way to get to his camera one-handed. So if your other hand is doing something else, fending off wild leopards or whatever it might be, you have the ability to reach in and get your camera bag out with one hand. So that means you have to be able to open the bag with one hand, get into the bag with one hand, and let it close securely with one hand. That is the nature of the bag. Now, before I even show you how all that works, he did, after he created it, realize that there was still one more problem and that was the camera strap. Now this doesn't affect me because I don't use camera straps. I almost rarely, almost rarely, almost never, very rarely, do I use a camera strap. And if I do you have one, then I have one that clips on. You've all seen it before. Um, it just clips on very quickly. But in general, I don't like straps. So the problem that he realized was that when he pulled the camera out of the bag, he then still needed to use another hand to put the strap or over his neck or shoulder or wherever, thereby negating the entire one hand thing. So he invented to go along with it, the world's smallest camera strap. This is a finger strap, and you get this for free with the bag, and so there's one in this little kit for you guys. Um, and this attaches to, to your camera, where your camera strap would normally go. And let's see, let's go for a close-up shot here. Let's go for the close-up here. And I have not attached it, as you can obviously see, but the idea here is let's just pretend that's attached. You reach in and you slip your finger into the strap, and now you've at least got something to hold on to. If you drop the camera, it is attached to your finger. So certainly not a full camera strap, but secure enough to keep it so that if you if it slips out of your hands, you've still got a hold of it. Needless to say, you should probably attach that part first. So that comes with it, which I think is pretty cool. So that lends into it. So and the reason I showed you that first is because if I show you the whole thing and you go, well, hold on a minute, you still need another hand to put the strap over your neck. Now you know that you in fact don't. So before we dig into the bag, let's just see what's going on here in the comments. Remember, if you are watching live, you have the ability to comment. You can little comment and it shows up right, right, right. There it is. Shows up right there. Um, if you put Photo Joseph in front of your, or somewhere in the comment, then I see it nice and right on the screen and I know exactly what you're asking and I can try to answer your question. Do try to keep your questions on topic today, please. We'll try to do that. So um, let's see here. Let's just dive in. Let's just take a look at it. So this is the bag. It's really nice and compact and cute. It's got this kind of nice leather front on it. Um, a couple of pockets on the side. You've got a perfectly sized for your iPhone 10. Pocket, look at that, slips right in there very beautifully. That's perfectly in there. The other side, get rid of this guy. I suppose I could have left that in. The other side has, let's see here, let's go in for another close up here. Has, there we go. It's just a simple little pocket, but it actually holds quite a lot. So now, well, there's, I have four, I have three in here now, but there were four batteries. So this was, these are the GH series batteries, um, but pretty much any of the batteries, these are some of the biggest batteries from the Lumix brand, so, or pretty much any mirrorless camera. These are pretty big batteries, so you could probably easily fit four of any wireless, uh, sorry, Lumix mirrorless type battery in there. And then there's a little pouch in here, which I don't know what it's for, but I use that to shove my business cards into. So there we go. It's just fit perfectly, very nice along with these, and away we go. So remember this 
number your camera batteries, number your batteries, and you know which ones are dead. Use them in order. So that little side pocket there, little one here for your phone, and those are the external pockets. The front of the bag, the way this works is you've got this kind of security strap that you can undo when you're using the bag, and when you're not using it, just close that up for a little bit of added security here. The idea here is quite simple. You simply move this over to open it. See, so it's got this little kind of a latchy thing here, so that's now on. Move it over, and away it goes. So very easy to one hand. And I am going to put this on and go stand in front of the other camera in a moment here and show you, you know, in, like for reals how it works. But, uh, but that's it. You just reach down, open that up, and now you've got access to your bag or to whatever's in there. Now, the inside of this, let me take this out. So I took this yesterday to, the, uh, to a basketball game, which, by the way, quick update. So yesterday I shot uh, women's um, college basketball with the G9 specifically so I could test it out, shoot with it. Um, see what it's like, and then show you the pictures. Worked out great. I shot 1,800 pictures because it turns out when you're shooting 20 frames per second, they really fly by. So I shot that last night. I did not edit those pictures last night. So I will do those and then show you the pictures after I've gone through them and looked at them and selected my favorites. But I will show you sequences, and you can see how many are nailed the focus, you know, where it might have gone out of focus, whatever. Overall, really impressed with the camera. Can't wait to show those to you. Can't wait to look at them all myself. So that's update number one. Update number two was the GH5S did not arrive Friday like it was supposed to. It is out for delivery today, though, so um, we will look at that soon. Yes. Okay, so back to this. Uh, so yesterday, since I was shooting the game, I brought this with me to the game. It's not really a sports shooter's bag, but I thought this would be a good chance to try this out. And instead of keeping a camera and a lens in here, I had my camera in my hand, of course, the whole time, and I put two lenses in here so I had extra lenses so I could grab into. At one point, I realized that I was never using one of the other lenses, so I just ditched it, which made it easier because then I had a empty slot to put the lens that I took off of the camera, right? So if I'm out shooting, pull this one off, drop it in, pull out the other one, put it on, and away we go. So there's that method of using it, or what's probably the more common is you're out on holiday or just out shooting, and you just want a small bag with all of your gear, so a body and a few lenses. So this is the G9 and some bigger gear, but what I think would be more likely to be carried in, in a kit like this would be something like this, your little GX85. I mean, you could put, you know, obviously put a G9 in here too, but GX85, and then like if I was going on holiday, I would have my 15 mil lens, I'd have my 25 mil, and because I just can't seem to leave home without it, I'd have the Noctocron. So these clearly very easily fit inside of this. Now you do get with this a variety of little dividers. So there's one, two, three, four little mini dividers. So you can layer them, stack them, put them whichever direction you want. There's Velcro all around the inside of this thing. See, it's all Velcroed up, or all soft-sided. So you can put these wherever you like in there. And, oh, and then there's little pouches up here. So this one holds memory cards very nicely. So I had a couple extra memory cards in there. Not that I needed them, but they were there. And I don't know what that's for, but it's another little pouch there. So you get, you know, all kinds of extra little pouches. So with that said, um, let's see here. Oh, let's, a couple other things to look at here. This clasp, now I've got too much gear up here. I want to show you this clasp because I think it's really, really clever. Find room for it. Here we go. Going for the close-up. So just your standard run-of-the-mill, open that and go, right? Open, open. Okay, what's going on here? This will not, uh-huh, because it has a secondary latch. This little button here, it is a, double release, which is great. So that means that you can't accidentally squeeze this and pop it off, or worse, have someone else come running up to you, squeeze this and run off with your bag. So it's a double, so this is not one-handed, which is very good. This requires a second hand to open that up and take that off. And I think that is really, really impressive. I, when I first do it, I'm like, what's wrong? Uh, very clever. So I like that quite a bit. So that will attach around your waist. Now, you can use this as a shoulder bag or sling bag, so you can adjust the length of, this is gonna be a really loud, obnoxious sound, but you can adjust the length of this. So if I wanna stretch that out, make it a little bit longer, do it as a um, messenger bag style, you can absolutely do that. Or, as Sean pointed out in the beginning, you can make it more of a hipster bag. <laughs> Funny joke, you can put this on hip style. It also has a big, loop through here, pass through. So I suppose if you wanted to attach it to a belt or if you're wearing some other kind of belt system and you just wanted to, instead of using this, you could do that. Or I suppose you could kind of put a tripod -y on there. I don't know, I'd probably not because it'd be bouncing against you. But anyway, there's a little strap there to slide something through. And this has, this is kind of neat, little separated pouches here. Uh, not pouches, what do you call it, just loops. These are useful because there's a lot of accessories out there that you can put onto camera straps and you can get them from any brand. I don't know if they make any or not, but lots of different companies make different attachments that you can attach onto your camera bag. This would allow you to slide something in here like a little battery holder, um, 
uh, I don't know, a, a memory card holder or whatever, slide that in and then have it not slide around. So it's not like it's looping over the whole thing that moves. If it loops into this, then it can't slide around. So overall, I think it's a very, very nice design. I really, really do. So we're going to put this on and take a quick look at it. Uh, before I do that, let me just throw this up here to remind you guys, as always, as always, this is my new my new plea for your assistance. If you learn anything in today's show, and I realize this show is about a bag, you may not feel like you learned much, but if you learn something in today's show or any of my shows, remember the idea of value for value. If you gain something for, of value from today's show, then please consider going to photojoseph.com support and supporting the show. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can do that there. I will leave it to you to go there and find that out. Also, I almost forgot, and I want to show this to you as well. Our friends at Petapixel are giving you away your camera of choice. This is to celebrate the 250th episode of their podcast, I believe is what it is. And you get to you get to choose any one of those cameras if you win, along with a Tamron lens, 24-70 f2.8 or equivalent for depending on the form factor camera that you want. One of those cameras that you can win could be, could in fact be a GH5, a GH5S, or a G9. We'll get whichever one you most prefer. So again, bring that up. That is uh, the shortcut to get to that contest is lensshark.com slash giveaway. Go check that out. There's instructions in there, obviously, of how to enter. Now, I will tell you that the contest ends today, Monday, the 12th of February at midnight, I think, Eastern time. So there's not a whole lot of time. So if you're watching this, lensshark.com slash giveaway. Make sure you go there, check that out, learn how to win. And hopefully one of my beautiful listeners will be the ones to win the camera. Let me know if you do. I want to hear about it. Of course, Sharky, who's setting the whole thing up, he'll tell me too. Anyway, okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the bag. So, I'm going to I'm going to undo my ears so I don't get totally tangled up here, and I'm going to put this thing on. If I can find the uh, here we go. Remember, two handed to undo that, and strap this guy on here, and let's go over to the other camera so you can see what this would look like. Boom, into position. So nicely on your hip there. It is. Low slung, kind of Han Solo style, it's kind of cool. Um, reach down and open that up, one-handed. Boom, that's all there is to it. You can put that extra little security thing on there so it can't accidentally come open. Obviously, you can take that off with one hand, open that up, and away you go. So if you're storing your camera because you don't want to walk around holding the camera, it can be in there. You can very quickly go in there, pull that out, pull it out upside down because I'm smart like that. Let's try that again. Let's put that back in there. So I don't have any dividers in there. Probably be smart if I had a divider in there to keep it in a position. But we can go in there, grab that guy, pull it out, and away we go, ready to shoot. I like it. I think it's kind of cool. So there you go. How's that for a demo of the bag in use? I like it. I think it's really good. Um, other things it comes with include a belt extender. So if you need a little bit extra length on there, it comes with that. And I think that's everything. So yeah, all the little dividers, the finger strap, the extender. Oh no, and a rain pouch. Right, it comes with a rain pouch as well. So if you want to, I didn't even open this thing. Um, if you're gonna be out shooting in the rain, there you go. So you got that, keep your head dry, put it over the camera, voila, super. That's all there is to it. That is the bag. So if you are interested in winning that bag, again, you do need to check out the other show that we did last week, linked up here already. If you go check that out, it is the black and white photography using color filter show. The instructions are there, but essentially you need to take a picture, black and white picture using a color filter and put it side by side with the same photo, but shot without the color filter so that we can appreciate the difference. And the idea here is to find a filter and scene that go together beautifully where you go, wow, that really makes a significant difference to the photo. And then of course, upload that to the Facebook page where people will thumbs up on that guy and hopefully we'll be able to select a winner. All righty, um, let's see here. Gearsight says, nice bag. Is the clasp, let's bring the comments here, is the clasp reversible for lefties or do they swipe it toward the front to unlatch it? You know, that is a fantastic question. Here's a funny thing. So I realized quite by accident and I wasn't sure if it was a flaw in the bag and I was gonna ask the developer about it. But now that you said that, I think it's actually a design feature. Look at this, if I open this up, bring this up, this thing actually spins. So I can spin it the other direction. So you, my friend, are absolutely right. So now it goes that way. I thought at first that, oh, maybe it just came loose, but no, you're absolutely right. So you could even, I suppose, put it down. Oh, no, that's pretty tight. No, it's, I mean, yeah, I think it's designed, I think that's what it's for. Ha, I'm so glad you said that. Man, and if it isn't meant to do that, then this one does in bonus. But yeah, that's, that's super smart, look at you. Very clever, thank you. Ben Five Shuttle, is the bag big enough to fit whiskey bottles? Just in case you can get caught out in the snow without your trusty St. Bernard dog. You, you could carry a half in there. 
Or I would imagine, I, I, in fact, I'm quite sure of it, that your flask could fit you know, maybe a little small for a flask. You put a flask on this side. Though. You decide, you know, who needs batteries when I can carry whiskey, so you just put your flask in there. But good, 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 very good question. Val, these are important things. Important, important questions. Or maybe you've had a little, little thin flask. I can slide that in here. That could be a good spot for that. Or you've got little attachments here. You could just hang it on the outside. See, so many different ways to carry your camera and your tasty beverage with you. Excellent. All right, that, my friends, is going to be that. We're going to wrap this thing up. So Wednesday is, I don't have a card yet because our model hasn't been able to come in, but Wednesday is Valentine's Day. And so we're going to be shooting using the velvet lens from um, from, from Lens Baby. It's that really soft, like, oh, lovely, lovely little lens. So we're gonna shoot with that. I'm gonna pull up the red seamless on there so it's all kind of romantic-y looking and we're gonna do a romantic -y style photo with the Lens Baby. I probably should have done this before Valentine's, but we're doing it on Valentine's. Um, and I don't have a promo card yet because our model hasn't been able to come in, but she will be here that morning, so we'll have to make the card that morning, and then away we go. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Friday is another interview, and uh, and that means putting in the next week, we'll be getting back into the G9 stuff. So sorry we had to skip that for today, but I just didn't feel like editing 1,800 photos after the game last night. I uh, ain't no Olympic photographer. Ooh, speaking of, if you are interested in the Olympics, I, I want to show you a website here. I want you to check out my friend's blog. So here we go. Uh, Jeff Cable is a buddy of mine who is a photographer down in the Bay Area and the official photographer for the hockey teams. He, if we're um, hockey, USA hockey teams. So he is at the Olympics right now. Um, there's just his latest blog post, I suppose. But if you uh, go there, you'll see that he has a ton of blog posts. He's posting pretty much every day. And look at this, if you're into the Olympics, uh, he has been shooting the Olympics for a while, so including some really, really awesome stories from the Sochi Olympics, what, four years ago, I guess, in Russia. So. If you're into the Olympics um, or just into sports photography, follow his blog. It's fantastic. So that was blog.jeffcable.com. Probably should tell you that, blog.jeffcable.com or just go to jeffcable.com and click the blog button. And uh, he's, like I said, he's posting almost every day. So if you're into the Olympics, into photography of sports um, or just into photography at all, it's fascinating. It's really, really good stuff. Okay, that, my friends, is all there is to it. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.